Hello guys, my name is Fadi Alfman and today I'm gonna show you guys how to make a laser bow in Minecraft. Now this works for Bedrock and Java, so don't worry about what version of Minecraft you're on. I don't know if it works for Pocket Edition, since I have never played and don't know really about it. So I don't know if you can do commands on it. But anyways, if you guys end up liking this video, make sure to smash the like button. Make sure to just bring it to the hospital and subscribe for a big bucket of cookies. Anyways, let's get into this video. Alright, so for today's video, I have a laser bow for you guys, as you might know. So this is pretty much where you were going to work with. This is the laser bow I've created for you guys. It is not as you might expect. Uh, what you guys might expect is like a trail to like where it's going to land, like the whole trail of where your area will go. Sadly, I don't know how to do that, but hopefully this is enough for you guys. I also added a little snowball with like this white trail that stays for longer. You can also add that to the bow, but I thought just making it red for now since it's a laser bow tutorial. But if you're fine with it being white and having the opportunity that it's like a longer trail, then you can also well do that for the bow. Now you can make the trail like more visible by having more command blocks doing the particle thing, but. That will lag at your game, so I don't recommend that because I already added three of them, and that can lag for you if your internet is not too well. So let's get into these commands, but we might first want to clean up this little area, so let's quickly do that. Alright, so now that we clean up this area real quick, we can remove these items, and we can start doing the commands. Now you want to start by getting yourself a command block. Now for the people that don't know, uh, I'll show you guys how to get one. Cheats need to be on, sadly. So if you're doing this in a survival or a fair survival game, it's sadly not going to be possible because you're going to have to do commands and being creative to enter a command block. But anyways, what you will need to type is slash give space at s. Pretty much that for yourself, as I said right there. And then what you want to get, which is pretty much a command block. So we type in command. But then, if it's a item that you're going to type in, a name of an item, then you want to do an underscore instead of a spacebar. And then you will type block. So that's how you get yourself a command block. Uh, you want to place it down, change it to repeat, and then uh, you want to have pick block on and pick block the uh, repeating command block. Uh, if you don't have pick block, that's completely fine. You can just place a normal command block and make it repeat and always active like that. You'll have the same thing, but it might just be easier to have it like that, but doesn't really matter. Now, we're going to start doing the command. So, you want to place down your command block like that. It doesn't really matter where you place it. Just place it somewhere. Go into the command block. Make sure it's always active, by the way. And you want to type in the following. Execute. At E. Then you want to do this type of like QB bracket. I have no clue how it's called. Uh, type equals arrow. Then you're going to do the same bracket, but then for closing, then space squiggly, squiggly, squiggly. Now some people do a space bar between those squigglies, but that's not necessarily. I like keeping it tight like that. It's just gonna give you some more space. Uh, and then you want to do particle space. Minecraft double dot a colon I think that's how you call it pretty much uh, and then the particle you want so there are multiple particles in Minecraft there are like hundreds but for the laser one the red one as I show you guys you guys want to do redstone underscore torch underscore oops underscore dust underscore particle then space squiggly 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 oh it's out of reach right now so you can see it but if you click on the little plus on the side like there you get into a bigger menu and then you have to put the squiggly after it and you're fine so now this should pretty much already work it's that easy it's one block so if we shoot we realize we do have the particles, but it's not very visible. If you shoot it really near to yourself, or like really slow, you'll clearly see it. But if you shoot it really fast, 
it's not going to be really visible. And this is why you need to have multiple command blocks. So you want to pretty much copy what we just did. Now you can do this by holding control on the keyboard. So you have to plug in the keyboard into your Xbox or just have or just play on PC. Pretty much you don't have to plug one in then obviously you do but you know you already play with one. And then you want to do pick block while holding control and you have a command block but with the data. That's pretty much a way how you can copy any command block or chest or any type of thing. But then plus the data as it says. So a chest would be with the items still in it. With the name, everything. So the data is completely the same. So we just copied this. And as you see, everything is the same. It's not always active. It's completely a copy. Now you want to place two more. So like that, you have three of them. And then it should be more clear because it does more particles. Now it's still not very clear if you do it from a far distance, but that doesn't really matter. From a far distance, you can still see the particles of the red thing if you look very, very closely. Uh, which is not like that when it comes to just normal uh, bow particles. It's like out of reach right now. If we add the red particles, you can still follow it like that and it's gone out of reach. So that is it for the bow. Now let's do the one for the snowball. All right, for the snowball, you want to have a repeating command block again that's on always active. Again, for people, uh, just to know, you just take a normal normal command block or a repeating command block. Uh, make sure it's on the repeat and on always active. And just for the people um, that are curious, this always needs to be an unconditional. Uh, otherwise, it's not gonna work. Now. You want to type exactly the same thing, but then a little bit different. So we're just going to do execute again. Add E. Bracket. Type. Equals. And then instead of arrow, we want to do snowball. Because that's what we're going to use. Snowball. We're going to close the brackets. And then we want to do the squigglies again. Then we type in Minecraft. Oh, sorry for that. Particle. Minecraft. Hold on, and then instead of the whole redstone torch part dust particle, we want to do end rod space squiggly 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 again. So that's pretty much how you would do it for the snowball. Again, make sure this is on repeat, unconditional, always active, and you just want to keep these like there are. Um, and then this should pretty much just work. So if we throw a snowball. You'll find out that there's a white show after it. And the cool thing about it is that it stays for quite of a long time. And it like slowly disappears. It like gets smaller and smaller and it just disappears. So that's the cool thing about this. You can use it for like a PvP game where you throw it at someone. And you like can have to be careful because people can like see the trail and you can find the one that is snowballing you. You can also add this one pretty much for the arrow. Uh, or anything else really you can add to try on anything So all you all have to do is go over here where it says snowball or arrow uh, Depends on which one you are and just remove it and type in whatever you want to use so you can do Trident whoa, 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 whoa before we end this video if you guys are curious how to make a platform teleporter like this You guys can click on the video right there if you guys are curious to our other content, click on the video right there. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.